Hey, what's up, Rattlers? So I'm in Toronto, Ontario for the 2019 Canadian Reptile Breeders Expo. This is a really awesome expo that highlights Canada's premier reptile breeders. And I'm also going to present the very first Rattle On Awards here in Canada. So let's go in and check out this expo and see who's going to win the 2019 Canadian Reptile Breeders Expo Rattle On Awards. I'm Dave Kaufman, and I tour the world to see how reptiles are living in the wild. And while I'm at it, checking out some of the most amazing facilities and reptile expos as well. It's all about learning, appreciation, and conservation. So come with me and join my reptile adventures. At Zilla, we are dedicated to the innovation of caging, lighting, and equipment solutions that provide proper husbandry for your pet's long and happy life. To see our entire catalog, visit ZillaRules.com. Hey, uh, what you got there, Brian? This is a Japanese rat snake, and it's pretty amazing. So amazing, I mean, they've got a lot of animals here at Port Credit, and this is the one that really just stuck out to me. That is amazing. Yeah, I just find these to be incredible snakes. Yeah, they really are. Wow. They smell incredible, too. Wow. These are the kind of snakes that everybody kind of overlooks, but they're just amazing snakes. Not everybody. <laughs> well, that is true. <laughs> All right, I just met this rattle. What's your name? Connor. All right, and what did you get here? Uh, pewter yellow belly. Pewter yellow belly. Wow. Just got this from Mutation Creation. Very good choice. Yeah. Billy is the man. He is. I'm awesome. Pair this with my champagne ivory I got at home. You're gonna pair it with a champagne ivory? Yeah. And hopefully this can make a beautiful. Fight. Awesome. Awesome. Well, best of luck to you, man. Good Thank run in you. India. So this is Sky Lily. This is Reina. They have Sky Lily's Nature TV on YouTube. I'm gonna put that link below. But look at this, how awesome is that? They drew this for me and this is just the greatest thing in the world and I am framing this and putting it in my studio. Guys, thank you so very much. Go and subscribe to Sky Lily's Nature TV on YouTube. And go check out my favorite episode of Dave Coffee when he went to the Choco Mocha Chocomoco rainforest. rainforest. And found the bush of Mosha Mush Baster. And the butthole snakes. <laughs> and the butthole. What was the butthole snakes? The, the, the Mexican mole lizard. Oh, the Mexican. Yes, the ajalote, of course. That's I. five weirdest reptiles. Yeah. Five, there it is. Awesome. Guys, I cannot tell you how awesome that is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it. All right, so I just met these rattlers here. What's your name? Yusuf. And you? Zach. I'm Dylan. All right, so what did you guys get? So I got a pastel calico uh, female. Very a, nice. A, a G stripe uh, hat, C6 hat lavender from Billy. From Billy, and great. Also Good a choice. Mojave uh, asphalt slash yellow belly from. Fantastic. Billy. And what did you get there? A uh, calico pastel and from a bino. He stole my idea after. Yeah. So. <laughs> he stole mine. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Wow. Oh, yeah. And you got an orange stream nice from orange Billy? Stream. Yep. That's fantastic, all right. All right, so I just met these rattlers. What's your name? Yeah. And what's your name? Lizzie. Lizzie, and what you got there? Um, albino cobra. An albino cobra, that is just amazing. Wow, good job, and you drew this? Yeah. Wow, good job. Thank you. Oh, look at that, she drew this for me actually. I love your videos. Man, I love getting stuff like this, this is awesome. Wow. All right, so I just ran into these rattlers. What's your name, pal? Uh, Brandon. And? Everest. 
All right, so what did you guys get here? Uh, I got a Kalatoan Super Dwarf Reticulated Python. Okay, that is the most awesome thing <laughs> in the world. Uh, he's het for purple albino. Even better. Yeah, I don't plan on breeding him, but I do... I, I don't know. I don't know yet. Hey, you know what? It's good to just have him as a pet. Yeah, he's gonna be awesome. Yeah, and what did you get here? All right, I got a chocolate king. I'm in love with king nice. snakes. Nice. I'm a sucker for them. Oh, Beautiful. That's awesome. That's they are awesome. gorgeous snakes, but I don't want them to have an escapee. So. Yeah, there, there you go. So make sure that's on tight. Well, so because of your videos and you covered the super dwarfs, I decided to name him Dave. You named your snake Dave. Yeah, I named him after you. Oh my God, that's he, awesome. The same spelling. Yeah. That's fantastic. I'm just a huge fan of you. Oh, what an honor, man. That's great. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, enjoy your Dave. Thank you so much. Awesome. All right. Great running into you guys. my name I'm scheduled to do a talk like right now so I've got to go all the way to the other side of the expo to go do my talk here is this on all right so this is, uh, this is the first time I've sat down today there you go. This is why we I'm to make myself at home here well this is supposed to be super casual so wow what a good crowd are you guys all having fun Awesome. awesome, awesome. You travel, and you travel a lot. You I go do. to places that all of us think about going one time, trying to do one time. If you guys don't already know, you gotta check out Dave Kaufman's Reptile Adventures. All right, so we're gonna stay here with you guys. We're gonna chat a little bit more. I'm gonna give the mic over to Kerry. We're gonna open up to some questions here. So um, if you guys have some questions. This is my favorite part. Yeah, mic up to your mouth. Kerry's gonna walk around. Anybody have a question they wanna ask? We've got one open. All right, cool. Steve Rempel, ladies and gentlemen. Did you see the $400 cane toad that's beside the $300 cane toad No, now? but we need to go check that out. Let's go see it. Let's do it. <laughs> Holy, look at that chubster. But look at that. $400 for this marine toad. That guy is a chubster for sure. So for all my Australian rattlers out there, $400 for a cane toad here at this Canadian Reptile Expo. I think I see a problem solved for your cane toad problem in Australia, but Anyway, now it's time for me to go around and find out who is going to win the first ever Canadian Rattle On Awards. So for the first ever 2019 Canadian Reptile Breeders Expo Rattle On Awards for the best snake here, I found it at Southwest Pet where I found this beauty. This is a Moonglow IMG, which is an awesome boa morph in and of itself, but this one happens to be Paradox. So this is Cody. He was the one who produced this amazing Moonglow IMG Paradox. What did you think when it first came out of the litter? I, quite honestly, I was over the moon. I had seen a couple of the moon glows come out and I was really excited. I hit those uh, a couple years back when I tried the pairing again and I saw one white snake with a few black specklings on it and I had lost my mind. I, I was jumping and screaming. I can imagine, <laughs> man. Immediately I was like, that's the one I have to keep. That can never leave. Absolutely. <laughs> There's a couple of morphs and voids that really excite me and of course one of them is pides and ball pythons. The other is paradoxing. I love paradoxes. And just look at that tail. What that Moonglow IMG does to a boa's tail is just absolutely incredible. But again, the paradoxing is just the icing on the cake. So when I saw this Moonglow IMG, which again is an awesome morph in and of itself, but when you get a paradox Moonglow IMG, it just makes for an incredibly amazing snake. And that's why this is my pick for the 2019 Canadian Reptile Breeders Expo Rattle On Awards for the best snake here.
So when it comes time to find the best booth here at the 2019 Canadian Reptile Breeders Expo, I look for a number of things when selecting that winner. I look for creativity and innovation and how much thought went into designing that booth. And I found the perfect winner at Slither. So this is Melissa and Glenn from Slithers. Where are you guys out of? We're out of Quebec, we're just outside of Montreal. Okay, so tell us about the design of your booth. In general, I guess, you know, I've always been that kind of Halloween kind of guy, you know, and I think people tend to think that snakes are creepy and stuff to begin with, you know what I mean? So I guess I just bought the theme from there. Absolutely. It's, 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 it's how we are. That's fantastic. And now you breed primarily hognose snakes. Yeah, we have tons of different reptiles, everything from monkey skinks, monkey skinks to lichianus and stuff. But our, our, our basic thing is hognose snakes. Is hognose snakes. Gotcha. And now did you design these racks yourself? Yeah, I had one of my buddies build them for us. Nice. All our stuff at home, if, if you look us up on, on the internet, you'll see that all our stuff is made out of wood and glass. You know, it's got to match our house. It's gotta, yeah. It's got to have that coolness to it. You know? Well, and when we were talking, Lisa, so you were telling me that your whole house is set up like this. Yeah, 20, you know, every day. every day, right, right. We play music, too, so we have that kind of, you know, that natural heavy metal theme to it. Nice. You, you play... walk in our front door, and these are the guys who greet you. Now, do you uh, play the song for ministry every day as Halloween? Every day. Yeah, <laughs> that is awesome. So, how are you going to improve this in the future? Well, we want to build a tent so it's enclosed and it's dark and creepy, and we can, you know, have some more ghoulies. Maybe even get a couple of my buddies dressed up like this walking around. That would be fantastic. You know, it's about the kids too for us. So Absolutely. See the kids get into it. Kids get into reptiles nice and early. And, you know, it's just a good thing all around. That's fantastic. So next time I'm here. All of this is going to be under a tent, and you're going to have... It might be. You don't be surprised. I'm an extremist. I can't do something a little bit, so... Me neither. It's either coming in with the all out or don't come in at all. Kind that of is awesome. So when I look for the Rattle On Award winners for the best booth at an expo, I look for innovation, and I look for style, and I look for design, and you guys have it. So congratulations for winning the 2019 Canadian Reptile Breeders Expo Rattle On Awards for the best booth. This is awesome. So when it comes time to finding the best Chelonian here at the Canadian Reptile Breeders Expo, it's going to be really difficult because a lot of you may not know, but it's actually illegal to import all Chelonians into Canada, turtles and tortoises. And the reason why is because of the Simonillo scare back in the 70s. And this is a really old law here in Canada that is still on the books and it is still enforced. So if you have a turtle or a tortoise here in Canada and you're asked to see paperwork, you must prove that that animal has been captive bred at least two generations back. Yeah. But to find the winner of the 2019 Canadian Reptile Breeders Expo Rattle On Awards for the best Chelonian here, it's pretty difficult because there's not a lot of selection here, but I think I found it. Here at Port Credit Pet, so a little disclaimer, Grant Crossman owns this shop and he also puts on this amazing expo and he also flies me up and puts me in a hotel. So, little disclaimer about who is about to win this award, but finding Chelonians here in Canada is really difficult because of those laws, but Check out this Indian star tortoise that I found. This is an amazing tortoise to begin with, but here, this is an $1,100 tortoise. Eastern box turtles are $450, and there was two of them in here this morning, so one sold. This Russian tortoise is $450. These baby sulcatas are $475 each. This cherry head tortoise right here is $1,000. Obviously, this is a captive bred star tortoise, and as I mentioned before, if any authorities approach you for having this tortoise, you are going to have to prove that this tortoise is at least two generations old. But look at that shell. This is just an amazing tortoise to begin with. And this is why this tortoise is my pick for the 2019 Canadian Reptile Breeders Expo Rattle On Awards for the best Chelonian here. So 
when it comes time to present the Rattle On Awards for the best lizard here, there are some really awesome lizards here. But what I found, man, there was no contest. Wait until you see what I found at Tails and Scales where I have found. <laughs> are you guys ready for this? Look at this amazing Euromastix. Now this is a banded Euromastix. These are the ones found in North Africa. And this is about an adult size, but man, I'll tell you, some of the other Euromastix that we can get, even the Molly Euromastix, which are really bright yellow, man, they just do not hold a candle to how amazing this Euromastix is. Look at that jet black tail. And just look at that orange banding coming across the back. Holy buckets, this is an amazing Euromastix. This Euromastix is only $1,500. I would buy this in a heartbeat. However, it's very difficult to get these guys over the border because of CITES permits. I could still do it though, and I'm still thinking about it. This is the most incredible Euromastix I have ever seen, not only at this show, but really anywhere in the world, look at this beautiful thing. Everybody that's seen this lizard here at this show has just been drooling over it. When I first saw this, my eyes popped out of my head, then I had to pick them up and put them back in my skull, and then I looked at it again and my eyes popped out once again. This is the most amazing Euromastix I have ever seen. Look at those oranges coming through on that jet black background, and this is just, well, I don't even know what more to say other than that this is the most incredible Euromastix I have ever seen anywhere in the world. And you can see why this is for sure my pick to be the 2019 Canadian Reptile Breeders Expo Rattle On Awards for the best lizard here. Anyway, Rattlers, I really want to thank Grant Crossman for flying me up here and really putting on such an amazing reptile expo. But, oh man, I'm about to turn off the camera and just stare at this guy. This is just an amazing list. I can't get over it, man. I'm just, you know what? A lot of people geek out when they see celebrities or whatever. I'm geeking out at this lizard. So anyway, guys, hit that subscribe button when you do. Hit that bell so you never miss an upload. Visit our sponsors. Their links are in the description below. And until the next reptile adventure, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on.